Joining us on the Heaster Automotive Group Hotline, he has the newsletter, NC Rabbit Hole, going to all sorts of weird little nooks and crannies about the state of North Carolina. Jeremy Markovich joining us now here on the OG. Jeremy, what's going on, man? Not too much. How are you? We're good. Uh, getting ready to go to Charlotte for uh, the ACC championship game between North Carolina and Clemson. How many roller skating rinks might I come across on my way from Raleigh to Charlotte? On your way to Raleigh to Charlotte, you're probably going to pass quite a bit. Okay. In the city of Charlotte, you will come across none. No, There are no permanent indoor skating rinks. Like, you know, with the wooden floor and the weird yeah. lighting, none of those exist in Charlotte. Okay, so what inspired you to go down this rabbit hole of roller skating rinks in North Carolina or in big city centers? So, so it was literally just that. I found out that there's somebody trying to start, like, get a roller rink off the ground in Charlotte because there's not one. And I was like, well, how is it possible? You know, Charlotte's got a lot. That's they, they I've, so I've been told. So they, I've been they, told. They, they like to tell you this, that they have a lot. Uh, they have no permanent skating rinks. Now, I, I, I have to, like, put the asterisk by it and say, well, there's, there, there's like a mobile service that will, will kind of come to you and bring the skates and bring the music. Um, there's an outdoor one uh, that, that, it, that exists as well. Roland Charlotte, they're great. Three, three uh, uh, black women and entrepreneurs are trying to get this up, up and running there. Okay. Um, but I never realized like actually what goes into running a roller rink, like, like, like the business of running a roller rink. Um, it's really tough. I had no idea. So what makes it – because I – I don't. I'm trying to think. There was a place in Raleigh called Jelly Beans, where yeah. I was actually in Cary. It was over by Crossroads. It was called Jelly Beans, uh, and there's a there's a there's a fun story there about uh, uh, the night that I, I I met my now wife uh, that was related uh -huh. to Jelly Beans. Um, but that's another story for another day. But now it's about ice skating rinks in this in this area. But it's even more difficult to to enjoy open skates. Like I just can't go to an ice skating rink these days and just enjoy a, you know a typical Friday night because now more often than not they've got hockey games that are being played. There's only so yeah. many sheets of ice in the area, so even that's kind of diminishing a little bit. So, um, why what makes it so difficult to have a roller skating rink? Um, real estate prices. Like it's that simple, huh? So so this is the comparison that you can kind of make. The answer to why like big cities tend not to have roller rinks is also sort of the answer to why big cities tend not to have your traditional sort of falling down, but amazing food barbecue shacks. Okay. Um, the reason is because barbecue traditionally was a cheap food made for the masses. You kind of did it in an out of the way place where you could store your wood pile, where you could get a lot of land where people wouldn't bother you, but you basically could just make a ton of food. Mm hmm. Roller rinks require a lot of land. They, they require a large building. Um, if you're talking about that much land in, like, Raleigh, that land is probably going to be very, very valuable. Why would you put a roller rink on it versus building housing or an office or a McDonald's or something like but, that? But, but, Jeremy, where are people going to have their, their, their awkward first hand-holding experience during a reverse skate or the slow skate? Come on. I know. Where, where are you going to limbo and... and, and <laughs> potentially concuss yourself if not on on on, on a floor yeah. um and i mean there's just a lot and also like there's there's the places that tend to make it are also like barbecue places which has been in the same generation the same family for two three generations and have sure. been there and have the same people going over and over again there's one i go to in greensboro that's been there forever and it's the same deal it's it looks it looks like the roller skates of a long time ago and they really had that tradition and those are the ones that are hanging on the ones now like if you're going to try to build if you want to build a roller rink in let's just say charlotte it's going to cost you four million dollars probably just to build the building Jeez. and that's not even including the land that's so, that's crazy okay okay i feel i don't know i just feel like there are a lot and i get the generations change and rites of passage change over time too you know we're we're about to enter into the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, kids singing that, and like I've here, here's a rabbit hole for you. How uh, did how did kids across America learn the fill-in for Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? Right, like 
you know, had a very shiny nose. Uh, you would even say it glows like a light bulb. Like a light bulb. They, yeah, they wouldn't let poor yeah. Rudolph play any reindeer games. Like Monopoly. You know, you know, you know, Santa came to say ho ho ho, like that kind of stuff. How does that happen? How does that get around from kid to kid? Is it kids moving? Is it school? Like what happens with that? Right? I don't Those know. are rites of passage, Jeremy. I don't know. The only thing, the only thing I can think of is like, if something is weird enough that it catches on mm-hmm. among, like if it is like juvenile enough that it catches on easily. Yeah. Um, it's just like the, like, like the sweet Caroline, you know, oh, the bop, every, bop, everybody bop. knows what to do. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, how did, how do you all know, except for enough people must've been to whatever sporting event, they were all doing it. And you're like, I guess yeah. this is a thing that people do. I'm yeah. Do it my life. It's like jingle bells, Batman smells, Bell, Robin laid, laid an, egg. an egg. Like how does, yeah. again, how does that, how do you know that you and I did not grow up in the same parts of the country? And yet here we are understanding these things and i feel like without a roller skating rink when it's time to do a roller skating jam reverse skate kids are not going to know what that means you know like the the amazing thing to me is is that one of the one of the the rink owners he owns a a couple a couple of run indian trail in gastonia okay and he tells me basically that back in the day it used to be where you made your money and where you had your clientele was like families and so it used to be that you could just drop off your kids who were like 13, 14 years old and just like drop them off at the roller. And like, well, we're going to see you like at nine o'clock. So like, make sure you're at the front door. And he kind of said, you know, they've stopped doing that now because since COVID, um, everybody's been cooped up. And like socially, it, it, people were just not, they, they, they don't interact like the way they used to. According yeah. to you. And so, so they, they focus more on like adult nights on like, I mean, on like, like skate rentals on like the pro shop. I mean, like like buying like souped up roller skates is a thing mm. now. So I did not, so I did not know that. Kind of, that's kind of taken over a little bit. I just I just realized there is a roller skating rink by the radio station. It's a, it's up off Capitol Boulevard. You know, I'm remembering this because I'm pretty sure I dropped. No, no, it's it's a, is that a bowling alley? I can't tell. I don't know. I don't remember. But they're very few and far between. Yeah. Jeremy Markovich. Well, bowling or skating. One or the other. We'll just show up there and do whatever the activity. I'd rather I would rather bowl than skate. Yeah. If we're being honest, uh, to me, bowling alleys are timeless. And of course, now that bowling alleys have gotten a little bit more upscale, like we got a Kings um, uh, by North Hills, it's like Kings, it's Kings something. There's you got Splitsville and all that other kind of stuff that has the fancier bowling. Jeremy Markovich, NC Rabbit Hole. Go check out the newsletter and find out where the roller rinks are in the state of North Carolina. Appreciate it, man. We'll talk to you later. All right, see ya.